Welcome back to the Renegade Report. I'm your host, Francis Mayer, and I'm also the Sports Information Director of Bakersfield College, and that puts me in contact with coaches, athletes, and different events that, that we have at the college that, uh, like Rambeer Sugar was just saying from the International Soccer Challenge, are good family fun, because we do care about families. Um, I have one, and you probably do too, and maybe you don't like hanging out with yours as much as I like hanging out with mine, but that'll pass as you get older. Uh, you'll realize the virtues and benefits of them. Um, but until then, we've got activities that can occupy you so you can spend time with them without really dealing with them. Uh, one of those events is tomorrow night in the Gil Bishop Sports Center as Bakersfield College Volleyball will play host to the Moore Park Raiders. Now, Moore Park dispatched them 3-0, oof, ouch, handily, um, in the recent L.A. Pierce Classic. But BC has the opportunity to redeem themselves. And as Coach Carl Ferreira told me yesterday, it was a rare lapse for the Renegades. Coach Clark, not consumed with wins, excuse me. Coach Ferreira, who looks nothing like Coach Clark, let me tell you, um, he's not really concerned with wins and losses. What he's concerned with is development and mindfulness and improving from week to week. And that's something that, that usually happens but did not happen uh, last week, unfortunately. And it happened on Saturday and Sunday. This is how their weekend went. They lost 3-0 on Friday. They lost 3 uh, to Moore Park. They lost 3-2 to a talented Butte team. And then they come back on the last day of the tournament, and they beat West LA 3-0. So there's that improvement that he talked about. And a lot of that improvement came from, um, well, over the season anyway, has come from Hannah Pope, uh, the daughter of Daryl Pope, who was a Division II national champion at Cal State Bakersfield. And uh, the genetics in that one, well, they're pretty strong. Um, she has improved the, uh, the passing on that team. And if you haven't seen volleyball played at this level before, and, and Coach Carl has played it at the very, and coached it at the very highest levels in the United States, um, it's, it's a sight to behold. There's more chatter and talk in volleyball than you would expect. They're constantly communicating and sometimes shouting. And even when the play goes bad, they gather together and congratulate each other and keep their spirits up. Um, and, and I find that to be pretty interesting. Um, the, the dynamic at play there is much different than what you see in football, for example. The Renegades football team will be on the road playing in El Camino in their brand new stadium. And that game um, is going to be broadcast on the Bakersfield.com network. And it's going to be in high definition. There's a score on the screen. It's pretty neat. It's cool. Um, and uh, you can also keep track of the game if you don't want to be absolutely captivated by beautiful visuals and it keeps you from doing yard work. Um, go to the Goodwill store and buy yourself a Walkman, clip it onto your belt, and then mow your lawn. Yeah, I know. You can do that while you listen to the football game. So that's happening on Saturday. And then also, uh, we want you to visit the website and check us out on Facebook because there's information about free swim lessons on Saturday. The Bakersfield College Swim Program is going to be running a relay. It's like an all-day insanity marathon um, where they, they try to swim 10 million miles. But at the same time, on a 20-minute rotating schedule that starts at 9 a.m., you can get free swim lessons for your children. And uh, that's, that's pretty fascinating. Um, and it's pretty valuable because far too many children in the United States are injured every single day and worse. I can't even bring myself to say it because it upsets me deeply um, in water-related accidents. And I know I have a young son. He's three years old. And I used to have a koi pond. But the minute I found out my wife was pregnant, I gave the koi fish to a neighbor that admired them, and I backfilled that pond um, because it happens in seconds, folks. It really does. Coach Moon's wife is a nurse, and she works in pediatrics, and she sees the consequences of water-related accidents, and they don't have to happen. And the majority of the planet is covered in water. There's no reason not to learn how to swim. And if cost is, is what's preventing it, go to BC this weekend. Go to the Simonson Aquatic Center, and Coach Matt Moon and the Bakersfield College swim team will give you and your child a swim lesson absolutely free. They're going to give some first aid tips. They're going to teach you how you can help your child become a better swimmer. And it's all absolutely free. It's a service to the community, which is something we do a lot at Bakersfield College. And we're, we're very, very proud of that. We like to enrich the community. Be a part of your community. 
take advantage of your neighborhood community college that serves over 25,000 full-time equivalent students. And in communities like Delano and Cerro Coso and Porterville, and get a free swim lesson. It starts at 9 a.m. on Saturday. Every 20 minutes, they're going to start a new one. So if you have to wait a second and, and play with your phone, like I just told Rambeer to do, that's okay. Big weekend for BC Athletics. For more information, visit gogades.com. Like us on Twitter. I'm going to give you a bunch of stuff to do right now. I'm sorry. But, but I'll be honest with you. You haven't been doing much with your life, have you? So, like us on Facebook, Bakersfield College Athletics. Follow us on Twitter, at GoGadesGo. Do the same thing on Instagram. Spin in a circle. Call 395-4266 and buy tickets to the Reuter bus, 25 bucks. And Orange Belt will do the driving while you get shot down by BC cheerleaders and play with your phone. And you get to watch a football game as well. And then Jeff Evans is going to come by and ask me who the athletes of the week are. But really, seriously, I'm going to thank the folks who make it happen. And that's tremendous community support. Folks like W.A. Thompson and Kern Schools Federal Credit Union. Together, we have something special. We're going to have Mike George from Kern Schools on uh, the show here pretty soon. They're great friends to the college. And those are businesses that reinvest in the community and in the college. So you should invest in them. We thank them once again, W.A. Thompson and, of course, Kern Schools Federal Credit Union. I also want to thank uh, John Farron and Chris McCullough, Athletic Director Sandy Taylor and B.C. President Sonia Christian for the entire team at B.C. Athletics. I'm Francis Mayer. Thanks for watching.